Start. This review focuses on the XYTR01 humidity and temperature controller. I procured the product from the highly reliable AliExpress store, ZQC module store. I integrate this humidity controller as a crucial component of my environmental control board. Utilizing it, I establish the optimal conditions for cultivating mushrooms. Currently, I've also ventured into plant cultivation, creating a tropical environment to foster their growth. My focus in the plant tent revolves around cultivating vanilla plants, a tropical plant that thrives in high humidity environments. Thus far, the vanilla has adapted exceptionally well to the artificial environment. For amusement, I keep savage plants on the ground, as they thrive in high humidity and prove beneficial in controlling small flying pests. Let's delve into why I chose to upgrade from the older XHM452 humidity controller to the XYTR01, which not only boasts a superior display. This video is part of the mushroom lecture series I teach about growing mushrooms and about the involved technical elements. Hey! My name is Daniel, I am from Germany, and I will be your host. I produced this video in a way that it can also be used as a printout. All the design that are shown in my videos can be downloaded. This is how I have structured my lecture. Just to clarify, I have no affiliation with the ZQC module store. I'm simply a satisfied customer. There are numerous other stores where you can make purchases as well. In the initial stages, I initiated the design using the readily available XHM452 humidity and temperature controller. I wasn't aware of the XYTR01, perhaps it wasn't available when I initially designed the system. Consequently, I had no option but to use the XHM452. As depicted in the picture, the XYTR01 features a significantly more appealing display, making it easily distinguishable on the AliExpress page amidst various other humidity controllers. Upon examination of the backside, the XYTR01 appears to be more sophisticated, yet it remains remarkably affordable. The pivotal distinction between the two controllers lies in their sensors, which is of utmost importance. The older XHM452 utilizes an AM2120 sensor, whereas the newer XYTR01 is equipped with an SHT20 sensor. This discovery proved to be quite significant for me. Having had some unfavorable experiences recently with the AM2120 sensor, I briefly considered reverting to an Arduino with a Bosch BME280 sensor. However, my search led me to the SHT20 controller, which seemed to be a more promising alternative. Considering the initial environment for growing mushrooms is already at the beginning of the maximum range, it poses a challenge as the sensor starts to drift. Drifting implies that the displayed values may deviate from the actual humidity values inside the grow room. As I always keep an old-school analog hygrometer inside my tents, I began to notice this drift. While one can adjust the humidity targets to higher percentages, there's a limitation as you cannot surpass a 99% humidity target at a certain point. Given the discrepancies of up to 20% humidity, I decided to change the sensor. Although they are inexpensive, the process can be cumbersome. While it's possible to recalibrate them, it demands time and meticulous attention. Subsequently, I came across the XYTR01. This product integrates an industrial-grade chip and employs the high-precision SHT20 temperature and humidity sensor. Notably, it aligns with my hygrometer, displaying no signs of erratic sensor values. It a temperature and humidity control module that boasts a high-precision digital display and dual output for seamless temperature and humidity regulation. Here are the specs for the SHT20 sensor, it boasts an accuracy of up to plus or minus 3%, and its operational range extends up to 100%. While the data sheet for the sensor provides more extensive and detailed information, the figures for long-time drift are particularly impressive only 0.25% per year. This minimal drift allows for compensatory adjustments in target values to address any slight deviation. Moreover, the accuracy remains satisfactory even in high humidity areas, 
making it ideal for plants and acceptable for mushrooms, given their specific requirements. The extended normal range of the sensor makes it an excellent fit for a mushroom Martha tent. This aligns with my own experiences while implementing the sensor in my system, and so far I can vouch for its performance. Refer to this graph for the maximum expected deviation. The sensor itself is well established as an industry standard. What was novel for me was the combination of the sensor with a controller for seamless integration, a feature newly available in the consumer market. It is manufactured by Sensurion, a spin-off from ETH Zurich founded in 2004. They received an award in 2019 for an environmental sensor. They appear to be a reputable company. Many thanks to them for delivering such a great product. Let's explore the installation process. This is a simple adapter or mount for installing the controller. Alternatively, one can use the small feet that come with the controller. Quite a nice touch, actually. I use my slicer to process the STL file. Currently, I use Simplify 3D. Simply print it on your 3D printer. I still use my trusty old Anycubic i3 Mega from 2017 it continues to bring value to the table. Yeah, my stringing is a bit off. I've been experimenting with waterproof printing for my next project, which involves a higher extrusion multiplier and a significantly higher printing temperature. That's causing the stringing. I've been a bit lazy to tweak the profile. This indicates the location on the environmental controller where you should install the humidity controller. The specific model doesn't matter, but I'd naturally choose the XYTR01. Install the adapter using two screws. I use M3X12mm wood screws. Mount the board on the adapter and connect the wires to the controller. The 12V power for the board goes in the middle left is plus, right is minus. On the right side, I've attached a 5V power line to supply power to my humidifier. That's it. Installation is complete, and it works great. I hope you also enjoy using this product. Let's take a brief look at how to program this controller. Since the functions include cooling, heating, dehumidifying, and humidifying, there are only four values that need to be configured. Kindly note that this operates solely in relay output mode and is not intended as a power module, it does not output voltage. For the load, a separate power supply must be connected independently. I've also created a video tutorial demonstrating how to connect a load and a power source to this controller board. I will also explain the basics of cable connection and provide all the details needed to build an environment controller board. These are the steps for proper use of the controller. 1. Connect the sensor to the controller. 2. Power up the controller. 3. Adjust start temperature, stop temperature, and temperature correction. 4. Adjust start humidity, stop humidity, and humidity correction. 5. Enable the relay output as per your requirements. 6. Disconnect the power supply. 7. If needed in step 5, connect the load to the relay output terminal. 8. Reconnect the power supply to the controller. 9. Test to ensure proper functionality. So, in conclusion, let's explore how to set up the four essential parameters. It's essentially the same as with the old controller. We only have four buttons, limiting the choices for inputting values and selecting the working mode. Working mode. The system automatically identifies the working mode based on the specified starting slash stopping temperature and humidity. Setting starting slash stopping temperature. Hold down the TM plus or TM dash button for over 3 seconds to access the start up slash stop temperature settings. Adjust parameters using the TM plus and TM dash buttons. After changes, wait for 6 seconds, it will save and exit automatically. Setting starting slash stopping humidity. Hold down the RH plus or RH dash button for more than 3 seconds to set the minimum slash maximum humidity values. Adjust parameters using the RH plus and RH dash buttons. After changes, wait for 6 seconds, it will save and exit automatically. 
let's now examine the bill of materials. This concludes the review of the XYTR01 humidity controller featuring the SHT20 sensor. It is available for purchase from various sources, not limited to AliExpress. If you are interested, here is the data sheet providing all the specifications of the SHT20 sensor. This is the old XHM452 controller. While it remains a good option for moderate environmental conditions, considering the marginal price difference, I would always opt for the XYTR01. And here is the link to the technical manual of the AM2120 sensor, which is used by the older XHM452 controller. Feel free to investigate and compare both sensors. Did you enjoy this lecture? Perhaps you'd like to show your appreciation by buying me a coffee? I did put a lot of work into this lecture series. I hope you enjoy it. You could also support any other good project. Which kind of sensor do you use? Please let us know, if you have good solutions. Help your fellow man. Thank you, for spending your time with me. Auf Wiedersehen.